of these. Uh, next question here, it says write the equation of a line in slope intercept form. Okay, so slope intercept form would be uh, y is equal to mx plus b. That passes through this point here, 1 and 2, and is perpendicular to this line. So this is a reference line. If two lines are perpendicular, uh, what is the relationship between their slope? Uh, let's see. Uh, Arthur, you want to try again if you, your mark working? Go click on the uh, talk button and say something. Okay, there's a talk button on the top left. Okay, click on. Arthur, are you with us still? Okay. Can you hear me? There you go. Oh, great. I can okay. hear you now. Okay. So, how, how do you find the slope of this line? 3x equal to 2y uh, plus okay, 2. So, basically, you get y by itself, subtracting 3x to the other side. Good job. All right. So, let's do that. Very good. So, you start with uh, the equation, and uh, you solve for y. And once we solve for y, we get it into the slope intercept form, then we can see the slope is the coefficient of x. So you're, you're absolutely correct. You're going to uh, divide each term by 3. So we get y, uh, y is equal to, well, here's x. So before we do that, you're right, you have to move the 2 to the other side of the equation, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Delete all this extra stuff I put here. Okay, so the first step would be to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. Let's do that. Negative 2, minus 2, minus 2. Then we have okay, we have two y is equal to three x minus two. So in other words, if I want to write it in the slope intercept form, it would be two y is equal to three x minus two. Now we divide each term by two. So can you tell me uh, what is the slope now? Arthur, go ahead. Um, so it's uh, y equals 3 over 2 minus 1. Right, so what's the slope? So it's 3 over 2. Very good, 3 over 2. So to find the slope, uh, if I write it in the slope intercept form, the coefficient of x would be the slope to find the slope. So this is a reference line. What's the slope of the line that I'm looking for? When it passes through the points 1, 2. So what would be the relationship between the slope of two lines that are perpendicular, in other words? I was going to say they intersect, but... Say again? They intersect. Uh, not, they don't intersect. There's a relationship between the slope of two lines that, that have 90 degrees. Okay. The ones that are perpendicular, they're opposite. So the one that will be perpendicular to 3, 2, so it'll be negative 2 over 3. So uh, negative and reciprocal, in other words, right? So yeah, the slope the reciprocal. Of negative and reciprocal, very good. So the slope of the first line is 3 half. The slope of the second line here would be minus 2 third, negative and reciprocal. And uh, if two lines are perpendicular, what would be the product of their slope? What is m1 times m2 would be equal to? Let me ask, uh, go back to Tyler. Tyler, can you see if your mic working? Go ahead and click on the... Looks like you still have a problem with your mic. I'm going to check that after the uh, session. Uh, David, let's give the mic back to David. Uh, what would be the product of their slope if two lines are perpendicular. What is m1 times m2 would be equal to? David, do you want to try? 
what would be M1 times M2 is equal to? This question for um, me, Y equals negative two thirds X plus one. Okay, but the question is, what if M1 times M2 if two lines are perpendicular? What will do that? The slope of the perpendicular line to the other one? Right. So what number should I put here? Um, negative 6 over 6. I'm Which not is sure. what? Negative 6 over negative 6 is to what? Negative 1. So negative it's always one. going to be negative 1. Because if, if one slope is A over B, the other one is minus B over A, this reduces to negative 1 always. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So if two lines are, yeah, if two, if two lines are perpendicular, the product of their slope would be always equal to negative one because the relationship between their slope is negative and reciprocal of each other. Okay, so you established the uh, slope of the line that I'm looking for is equal to minus two over three, and I already have a point here uh, that my line is going to pass us through. So David, uh, go ahead and you have the mic. Uh, tell me what would be the next step to write the equation of the line that passes through this point here, one and two, and the slope is uh, minus two third. How would you write the equation of the line there? What would be your first step? The first step would be put one and two into the equation. Okay, what equation are you going to use? You would use the perpendicular one. So, okay, we have two general equations of the line. One, one is the slope-intercept form, which is up here, and uh, there is another one that we can use. Y minus y one is equal to m times x minus x one, which is known as slope-point formula. Now, I, I really like a uh, slope-intercept formula. Uh, it's easier to calculate. So let's start with that one. If I start with y is equal to mx plus b, David, tell me what would be my next step here, knowing these two informations that we have. Um, pass. Sorry. I'll pass it on to someone else. OK, so let's see. Uh, Anyone else wants to? Okay, Tyler, you want to try the mic? Not sure. Go ahead. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we can hear you, but okay, good. So, what do you think we should do next? So what we we're starting with y is equal to mx plus b, and we want to write the equation of the line that passes through point one and two, and the slope is minus two third. What do we okay, do? Okay, I would use the. Um the negative 2 over 3, plug that in for the slope, then I'll plug in the okay. points that pass through the line. Good, very good. So you, you, you substitute for m minus 2 over 3, because we know that. Right. And then, since I'm treating this point as point P, then this one must be x, x and this would be correspond to y. So everywhere I see y, I can substitute 2, Everywhere I see uh, x, I'm going to substitute 1. And then we solve for y intercept or b. Right? Right. OK. So uh, the rest is pretty simple. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and uh, tell me what would be the next step. I'm just going to write it as you tell me. What would you, what would you do next? Um, well, I got y equals negative 2 over 3 plus 2. Okay. First, we have to solve for b here now. You know, we haven't solved B. Oh, so I'm sorry. Solve for B. Oh, it's subtract the two and bring it over to the other side. Yeah. Well, well, not two. You you mean you subtract? You wanna you wanna eliminate uh, minus um, two third, right? Right. Right. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. Okay. So what do you do? Okay. So I would multiply the three on both sides. No, no, we can't do that. But what if you just move uh, two third, uh, negative two third to the other side? In other words, what if I add two third to both sides of the equation? Would that work? Yeah, that would work. Okay, so that probably be the simplest way to handle the rest. So if I just simply add two third, 
to both sides of the equation, then I would get uh, 2 or 2 over 1 plus 2 thirds is equal to B, right? Right. So how would you add these? What's the next step? I'll make sure they have a common denominator. Uh, which is? Um, 3. So I'm going to multiply this by 3 over 3. So now I can add these two. Yes. So you have 6 over 3 plus 2 over 3 is equal to B, which is equal to what? 8 over 3. 8 over 3. Yeah. Okay. Once I find my y-intercept, I'm all done. Y is equal to mx plus b. That's the form we want to write our final answers. So it would be y is equal to the slope is minus 2 third. And now I know the y-intercept or b is equal to 8 third. I'm all done here. This is the equation of the line in that form.